another story of time episode this time it is eight swords of Lu bay this is chapter number 11 in the series if you haven't already make sure you check out all the previous beginners guys i will be of course doing some perfect clear last or final chests uh just mini videos um on facebook probably do it on youtube as well uh, just pointing out where the last chests are for the stone sentinel maze and the phoenix screams once i figure all that out i'm sure there'll be viewers that will point it out and we'll do the videos with those ones as well but let's jump into it before we do i guess we can have a look at the rewards which is it's always nice these ones are, are a little bit more worthwhile in my opinion but it also gauges the difficulty level of this um i want to say chapter when they start giving away imperishable gear sets or anything that's mythic wise i'm going to say that you know potentially it's going to be a little bit harder to complete so be aware that sometimes the power gap will be a little bit more apparent Xiao Xiao attempts to annex the cities regaining the arcane power um if you've been following on the story mode it's been a little bit bizarre but basically uh puppy dog Xiao Xiao is the enemy um we all knew that from the beginning he's always going to be the bad guy but that's okay because yeah way nation we all know what happened to way nation <laughs> who finally knew we lost the pursuers this guy seems to still be the protagonist um still seems to be shu so Lu Bei's there zhang fei's there xiao xiao's like cavalry um basically this is going to tell us that we need to escape them which means that we're probably going to be fighting a lot now my opinion i'd say that the first fight of the story mode is going to tell you just how strong they are these guys are surviving my initial attack whereas two or three chapters ago they were dying pretty much straight away um they are i mean they are surviving so they they survived the beast attack they have beasts themselves which is quite alarming so i'd say this chapter is going to set aside that a lot of players not being able to progress there is going to be an RNG component to it, but just keep persevering if you are a low-level player. Don't go for the perfect clears. Uh, and honestly, I, I do it. I, I've always done it in sort of uh, stages in sense of like I go and explore as far as I can. I do some sacrifices. You know, you throw all your best heroes and you try to get uh, at least some of the map unlocked, if that makes sense. You will notice that we are starting to fight some mythic heroes in the back row. So that is Lu Lun Kui. Again, an indicator that these heroes um, or these enemies are starting to get a lot stronger. So just be aware of that. This is kind of where early game you want to go with charity. That's going to be very, very important if you do get that option. The reason being is that you want to be able to heal yourself after every single round. And that's what it does. Just be aware that they don't necessarily stack, or at least I haven't noticed if they stack. I'm, I don't take damage, so it is a little bit harder for me to advise there. But if you do know if these um, buffages do stack, that's also interesting. I, ha I have a feeling that they might, just because they give the same one so many times. But if they don't, and uh, it's really hard to test. So because it's just 10% and 10%, it could just be 10% plus 10%, or it could be 20%. You know, same thing, right? Realistically, we'll see. So we've got a bamboo trap there, which means we got to go find the trigger and the triggers look like this. Uh, basically, when you do one, they release them, but they also pop them up elsewhere. So be mindful that you might have to return to the scene of the trigger um, in order for it to unlock. Again, we probably like that trigger probably put this one down and the other one up. So <laughs> just be aware of that. Um, these ones again are like trap triggers too so these ones do portals it's a dead end stop being flustered i think the forest in the east is a maze uh a man who knows five element switches can find the exit road to west is not dead as long as you can find the switch so basically this is you know pretty stock standard you can basically follow these guys and and you know the rhetoric and stuff like that which is fine let's go ahead see again flip the switch and you can have access to more treasure chests <laughs> i'm assuming there's going to be a treasure chest eventually around here it's exactly what i'm predicting we're going to fight some people and then we're going to get a treasure chest and probably find another switch 
I want to say we'll probably find another switch. Okay, so one of the switches probably set the, um, or the tiles, I should say, set the, the forest on fire. So we'll have to find another way. A, a lady is trapped in a fire. Let's go save her. Uh, the fire is too big. Um, I saw a spring on the slope. We can use the water. Okay. So it all it, it does give you hints as to potentially where to progress to. So the fire is there. So we know that there is like a pond um, down to the south. So we'll be able to go up those ones. <sighs> Just a lot of running around. I mean, some people find this fun. I mean, I, I don't actually mind it. I, I, I enjoy, you know, getting like some of the rewards and stuff like that too. Um, lots of teleporters though. Let's just go to the obvious one. Good. Obvious one was good. Everyone take note. The obvious one was good. <laughs> um, we probably gonna have to, oh, we got the hundred shards already. Interesting. So we're gonna have to go and fight some of these guys. Um, teleport, keep, keep teleporting. Okay. Can't, can't get any further. Let's go down here. Let's go there, grab that. Teleport into a new area, which is fantastic. Let's go and see that. Okay. This is the spring. Um, okay. Didn't let us grab what I thought it would though. Interesting. Uh, maybe that's not the spring that they're talking about. Let's keep exploring. This one might be more forgiving. Right. Okay. So this one's still blocked off. All right. So if you can't progress, go go find someone to kill. That's the rule of thumb. Lu Bay, I've been waiting for you. <laughs> okay, fair enough. He's right, while the ruser is wrong, yada yada. So we're gonna have to fight you. See if you um actually strong. Okay, fair enough. Um, that was really easy. But we all know that we kind of don't want that. So spring of rain. We want to be able to get to another area. So I think what we're going to do is see whether or not these magical trees can be walked through. Yes. I uh, freaking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. These bloody magical trees. Just keep tapping. Okay, we teleported. We, we did teleport, but... Okay. And we can exit ish kind of keep tapping. And we teleport it again. So take note. Take note that these there's teleports like in the forest somewhere. Maybe. Okay. So where do we teleport this time? <laughs> oh, this is going to be a night. This is a nightmare. So if we start from here again, so I, I think the, the, the goal is obviously to, to get to, um, the spring, but where's the spring at? Because 
As far as I can tell, that's that's the spring. That's frustrating. Do we do we try to reset it, or maybe that's the spring? No, I don't think so. Let's go explore this a little bit more. And of course, there's no visual indicators as to where, like, you know, that there's no visual indicators. Oh, Mirage of Forest. We found something. Ha! We found something. <laughs> what the hell? All right, if you take note, there's something in the middle of here. That's crazy. All right. So we're going to keep tapping away, tapping away, tapping away. It's probably a way to dispel this. I'm not going to lie. It's probably like a legitimate way to get rid of this. It's probably there. No? Really, of all the things, I still can't get there. A mirage of the forest. So there's another treasure chest up there. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Jeez, man. PB is just going to be wandering around the freaking forest. But at least you can see on the map technically where some of these things are. So we know that's not it. Let's go over here. Maybe there's some over here. No. No, I think there was a teleporter. If I'm not mistaken, there was like a teleporter up here. Any more mirages of the forest? Probably going to be one up here, right? No. All right, we are going to reset. Let's start again. Take note of that, though. Important, I would say. So instead of, like, flipping the switch, let's see if we can get these guys. I'll make one D's out there. Let's go all the way down here. Kill these ones. Kill you. Interesting. Let's flip this switch. Let's go over here. Let's keep going. Treasure chest number seven. Ah, oh, okay. So we acquired it. Yes, that's what we're looking for. So that's the one that we kind of needed to do in order to like unlock this stuff. So let's just go over here without switching any of the, without flicking any of these switches, we are going to go this way and we're going to go over here. Okay. Is there a way through here? Is there a way through any of this? How did we get there to begin with? We teleported up there, didn't we? Oh, wait, wait, why is it letting me, what? Uh, well, that's fine. Apparently you can walk through it here. It's kind of sus. Okay, so apparently you can walk through it here. I'm pretty sure you can't get up there though. Can you get up there? Is there any way for me? No, nah, so it's not giving me the option. But when you flick the switch, uh, or should I say the teleporter pad, it got rid of that tree. Um, but it blocked off the other tree too, which is kind of weird. Right. 
So we kill you. I thought we got the spring water though. Did we not get the spring water? Huh. So you can walk through there. Apparently, you can walk through the tree. There you go. So we're 8 from 10. I swear though, we didn't we get the stupid spring water? Am I tripping? Maybe there's another place where you're supposed to get the spring water. Uh, so we're going to go to the one at the top this time. Because remember, we went to the base one before. So we're going to go to the one up the top. Come here. Come here. Game. Game. What are you doing? Come on. Don't get tricky with me. What? Are you kidding me? No? Why can't I go in there? Well, that's bizarre. Let's try and get the spring water. Okay. That's the spring water. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, all right, okay, genius. Let's go. All right, so we got the spring water. Let's go put this fire out. You're a hero. Darling, oh my gosh. My darling, my dear. <laughs> so you're laying behave yourself. Oof. I made puppets here. However, the puppets attacked me as if they were guided by a certain force. My puppets can only be destroyed by fire. I had to burn them, but I didn't expect to cause such a big fire. Do you know if there, why there's no road in the forest in the southeast? Um, they're not real trees. Yeah, I know. But I spent a lot of energy and I'm afraid I might accidentally destroy the chest if I break the maze now. Okay. All right. So if you remove the maze, break some mirage in the forest, but she destroyed some treasure chests in the meanwhile. All right, but remember, I don't believe there was any treasure chests in the forest that we didn't need to get. We only need to get one of them. So maybe there was one treasure chest in the forest, but let's have a look to see if by any chance there wasn't. Also, maybe take a screenshot of this just so you know the pathway. Um, cause you know, potentially, potentially there is going to be a treasure chest that we can acquire. So we got, I think three treasure chests from there. So that was, that was okay. Now I want to go back to this one. I want to, I want to be able to go and teleport now. <laughs> uh, I want to get the last treasure chest. Let me, let me teleport. Why, what in the world is going on? This game is so glitchy. It's not letting me move. I don't quite understand. It's odd. Anyone else find this odd? That it's not letting us move? It gives us the option to click on it, but... I cannot go that way. I know that I can go there. I know I can kill you. But I don't want to do that. I want to acquire the treasure chests. So. At this stage, I think I'm probably going to leave it there. I will come back and do the perfect clear. Maybe it's a, it's a good opportunity to sort of figure out potentially the pathways. Maybe take a, a screenshot. Um, if you, of course, unlock this yourself, then you can go back and try again. I'll probably do a perfect clear guide for most of these ones, but otherwise these, these videos will just stretch out too long. All right, thank you so much for watching. Make sure that after you have acquired all of the goodies, you go back into your main area over here 
go to your scrolls, go to your time heroes section, and you start to activate them because you will be able to get quite a big power boost. I'm going to predict I get about, uh, I want to say like 20 billion in total with the defense. Um, pretty ambitious, actually. I doubt that much. I think we got about 10 bill. Yeah, about 10 billion. So absolutely worth it in terms of just some of the additional things that you can acquire. Now, obviously, if you're a perfectionist, go back in there and figure it out yourself. But otherwise, stay tuned for all the complete guides to that. I'm sure I'll be able to do that eventually. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.